Hi guys, and welcome to another kit review. So today we're going to be having a look at the kit from Tamiya in 135th scale. Okay, so it is Tamiya's French Armoured Carrier UE. So in this kit you get the little armed carrier, trailer, accessories, crew, and also a couple of uh, French soldiers to go with it. All right, so not a bad little kit. Very tiny little um, armed carrier. You'd be surprised how small these things were. Have a look. This is a guy standing next to it. So, okay. So you'll see a lot of film of these um, early in the war, and the Germans actually took them over as ammunition carriers as well after the invasion of France. Okay, so that's the box top. Okay, this does say assembly type tracks with straight parts made of single piece, three types of decals, tweezers, and various accessories. So that should be something to have a look at. All right, so let's have a look at the outside of the box first. Okay, so just a picture of the little carrier itself. Japanese, Tamiya's address, as usual. On the other side actual photo of the carrier, trailer, accessories and the soldiers and this is the accessories you get and that just happens to be the carrier crew so they're only half figures okay so that's the box all right kit number is 35284 all right so and this one was retailing in Australia at almost $60. I picked it up off uh, the internet auction site. I won't tell, say which one, but everyone knows. I think this one actually cost me around about 20 something dollars. It was cheap. No one else bid for it. Bargain. Love my bargains. Anyway, that's the box. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Okay. Instructions, excellent. We'll have a look at those in a second. A correction, a correction for the trailer. Okay, now, first bag of sprues. This is the track. Give you an idea of how small this thing is, all right? That's the track and wheels. Okay, that's the first bag of sprues. Next bag of sprues is the vehicle itself. Okay, sides, top, bottom, hatches, accessories, tools and things. All right, so that's that bag. Next one is, this looks like the little trailer. So the trailer, and you'll see the photos on the internet, could it have either tracks or just wheels. So... You don't necessarily have to put the tracks on it. I've seen them being dragged around, both French and German, without the tracks. I think that's the way they were probably designed. Anyway, that is the trailer. And then we've got the accessories and the crew. Okay, so there's your crew, four helmets. All right, put those away. And the decals. Okay, so we'll have a look at all this in a minute. Not much else in here. Usual important information. You know, warnings. Don't glue your hands and feet together, that kind of thing. All right, so that is that for the what's in the box. All right, so give me a minute and uh, we'll have a look at the instructions. Okay, here we are back again. So, let's have a look at the correction. The correction says there's a mistake in step 15 on page 7. Okay, so, at least they corrected it. Front page, usual history of the vehicle itself, okay, in eight different languages. Okay, so... That's always a good thing to read. If you're not sure about where these things are, why they were used, give them a read. A lot of people don't, strangely enough. 
Okay, so let's have a look. First up, we've got usual warnings. Okay, and then we start on constructing. Okay, so this is the top of the carrier and basic framework, sides, it all goes together to create the body. Wheels, and there are little tiny wheels and little tiny tracks. Okay, so this is uh, definitely, even though it's a Tamiya kit, I would uh, definitely dry fit first, just so you know which bits are actually going to go where, because it is quite fiddly. Okay, so then the wheel assembly goes on the sides. Okay, nice instructions on how to construct the tracks. It already has track sag in the top layer, which is really nice. Okay, and then we get on to the exhausts, lights, etc. that go on the actual carrier, and then the tools. So there isn't a great deal that goes on the outside. Okay, you'll see these are your um, hatches, visors for the crew. So if you wanted to, you could actually close them, leave them open. You've got crew, you may as well leave them open. And then comes on to a few more accessories and things, fittings for the tank, tank, the little carrier. And then there's a box on the back. So there's a box that goes on the back of the carrier. So that was also used to carry ammunition, supplies, whatever, when they weren't using the trailer. All right, so next we've got, okay, so accessories, trailer. So this is the part that had the correction in it. So read it carefully. As I said, dry fit first. You won't have a problem. And then we come to the wheels on the trailer. So like I said, I have seen them being dragged around without track. So that's really a choice whether you want to put tracks on them or not. And then uh, just finishing off the trailer. Putting the wheels on, where you go. These are the infantry that you get with the kit normally because um, this was off um, the internet. The previous owner did tell me that um, they did use the infantry for other things, which is not a big uh, drama because um, I already have Tamiya's French infantry set anyway. And there you have it. All right. So there are color callouts throughout the instructions. Standard Tamiya callouts. All right. It's, it's all Tamiya colors. So if you're not sure, use your internet references, right, to make sure you've got the right colors. And there you have it. Painting and marking. Basic markings. All right, number plate, unit, etc. XF51 overall. Okay, and you've got markings for two units, both unknown, France 1940. Okay, so if you really wanted to, you could skip the uh, French drivers, and if you wanted to, you could make it a captured German one, but for me, I think a French one would be fine. Okay, and that is basically it. Most of this is in um, Japanese and other languages, but it's standard Tamiya. Okay, you won't have a problem with fit. All the parts should be okay, and if you read the instructions carefully, I don't see any problems whatsoever. Okay, so that's the instructions. I will uh, take the sprues out of the bags and we'll have a look at those. Okay, so welcome back. All right, so the bags were not sealed. They were actually stapled shut, which is standard Tamiya. Um, that I don't mind. Although, if there are loose parts, sometimes they can work their way out. But, hey, it is what it is. 
let's have a look at first the decals there we go i don't know if you can see those okay standard tamiya quality not bad there wasn't much in the way of markings on these little french carriers so from what i can see number plates with the tricolor unit markings that was basically standard for these vehicles so yeah can't see a problem with that all right i will give you stills for everything as we go anyway like i normally do okay put those over there There. First up, we'll have a look at the accessories. So, okay, you've got two sprues exactly the same. So, basically, you've got three boxes, a couple of um, oil drums, okay, tarp, a couple of helmets, and this is the body of the driver. Okay, good detail, standard Tamiya quality, minimum, in fact, no flash, but, you know, usual join lines on the figures as you normally get. But um, the boxes, they have a very faint, I don't know if you can see it, very, very faint wood grain. Okay, so, hmm, passable, passable I'd say. Okay, so. Next brew is the biggest brew in the whole thing. So here you have the two sides to the carrier, the top, the bottom, exhaust pipe, okay, hatches, cable, and other fittings. This basically is how big the vehicle is. It's quite small, okay, but the detail, okay, some very nice little rivet detail on this. Detail on the bottom, really nice detail on the top. So like I said, it's a Tamiya kit, okay? Even the fittings and the tools and things look pretty sharp. So the quality is great, okay? It's Tamiya quality, all right? It's not Yeeha Photo Etch, but this will... Um, make up to be a really nice little vehicle okay so I'll give you close-ups of that in a second so. so next through we have is the trailer okay there's the trailer's tracks wheels sides and back and the base okay there's the towing nice detail crisp no flash but as I said there's very fine little tracks so that even though it's a Tamiya kit, will require some patience and care to put that together. But, you know, you can't go wrong. Detail is really nice. What we've got next is just a small sprue, the other wheels, okay, for the, the trailer and the rest of the track for the trailer. As I said, the trailers, I've seen actual fo footage, 
uh, from the war where the trailers have no track just the wheels I think that comes down to personal choice and uh, possibly how they were being used okay so they were being used okay so the next sprues two exactly the same you like that two exactly the same all right so what we've got here okay those are your running wheels for the carrier drive sprocket track hatch okay visor these are the frames that the wheels attach to all right nice detail very fine love the fact that they've actually put track sag in hope you can see that track sag in the top layer of track and the wheels yep they have some very fine detail on it too so as i said this is a small vehicle and we'll take patience to actually construct construct um but they're cute all right and i like it okay so that's that and i think that is it so as i said i didn't have i didn't get the soldier figures they were kept by the previous owner but that's no big drama okay so you've got six seven sprues um they're all quite fine and small so this is a vehicle where you would use a lot of patience to put together but in the end um you will come out with quite a nice little vehicle anyway so that brings us to the end of this review i hope you've got something from it and um until next time as usual Take care and I'll see you later.